What's up, nerds? Welcome back to Tea Time with your favorite software engineer. Today, I'm going to be going over intersection of two arrays. But first, we I am hosting a leak code competition in my Slack channel for cash money. The pop, the pot prize is uh, twenty dollars so far. So it just started this week. Um, it runs three weeks, and so it's not too late to join. So if you guys want to join, join the, my Slack channel in the subscription below. And now let's get to the problem. Given two arrays, write a function to compute their intersection. Um, so an intersection is numbers that are the same. It's like a set. Um, so the intersection here would just be two, um, because they intersect at two, there's no duplicates. Um, see each element in the result must be unique. So the result can be in any order. So that's good as well. Um, and here it would be four and nine because those are two are intersects, um, the same. So the first thing that could, should come to mind is hashing. So, a hash set would work perfect for this a data structure where um, it doesn't store duplicates so we could use that to solve it so let's go ahead and create two hash sets so hash set so it's similar to a hash map but a hash map has a key and a, a value a hash set just has a value um, so set one equals new hash set so this is where I'm th this hash set I'm going to store it store the uh, unique values in num ones in this hash set. And then in the second hash set, we're going to store the intersect values. So I'm going to call this one intersect. And so now let's just fill the um, set one hash set. So from nums one. So set one dot add so this add function um will not add duplicates if the number is already in it so we just need to add i and now let's add the numbers from set one into uh the intersect so i nums two so we're going to loop through nums two and we're going to add the this what this is doing is it's looping through nums two and it's only we're going to check to see if um set one that contains that value, then we're going to add it to intersect. So intersect dot add I. And then we're going to want to size equals intersect. Let's grab the size. And but we need to return uh, integer array. So let's go ahead and create our integer array. So answer equals new int size. And so now we just want to, since we have to return the answer, we just want to put the integers from intersect into answer. It's not hard at all. The same exact thing we've been doing. So intersect um, and answer I, or actually we need the index. So we're doing index equals zero. So because it's in an array, we need to um, create an index because we're setting it to I we can't use I and we need to increment it along because we're not doing duplicates remember and that should be it we just need to return answer and so let's run this let's see if this works sweet no problems first time around and so 98.87 runtime, um, not so good on the memory usage. The memory usage is O of N because we had to use hash sets and uh, runtime is O of N as well. We're just looping through, oh, actually it's N plus M um, in both cases. I'm sorry, I stand mistaken because nums one and nums two can be different. So if nums one is N and nums two is M, um, both the runtime and space time are N plus M. And that's all I got for you guys. If you guys learned something, smash that like button and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.